my dear student i welcome you all to the maths class so in today's class we will be doing question number 2 of exercise 1.3 so question number 2 state that give a rough estimate by rounding off to nearest hundreds and also a closer estimate by rounding off to nearest tens so that means what we have to do here we have to round off these numbers whatever is given in the question you have to round off to the nearest hundred first of all and the closer estimate we have to make it by rounding off to the nearest tens so solving question number 1 part a 439 Plus three hundred and thirty-four plus four thousand three hundred and seventeen. It is very similar to the sums which we did yesterday, but in yesterday's sum there was no such question in which it was mentioned that to convert in nearest hundred or nearest tens. Here in that question it was to convert to uh, change into the near nearest or round off to any nearest value. So, but here. what we have to do is we have to convert a round off into the nearest 100 so what will be the uh, nearest 100 of 439 so nearest 100 of 439 will be maybe it may be 430 it may be 440 now you have to decide in between these two numbers which one will be the nearest one so if i want to go back to 430 you have to subtract minus 9 if you want to move forward you have to plus it with 1 right so which one is the nearest so which one you will choose plus 1 of course so 440 okay sorry it is the nearest 100 right uh, we have to do the nearest 100 so i have taken uh, this for nearest tens so if you want to choose for the nearest 100 you have to go for 400 or 500 400 or 500 so this will be the nearest 100 not the 440 or not uh, 430 so here to reach 439 to 400 you have to subtract minus 39 if you want to reach 400 and uh, 500 from 439 you have to reach you have to take or you have to plus 9 minus 3 6 it is 61 right so it's better if i take if i move 39 step back and i'll reach the nearest 100 that is it will be 400 so the nearest 100 of 439 will be equals to 400 okay so similarly 334 so let me erase this part okay <coughs> so i have the number next number is 334 334 nearest 100 will be maybe 300 it may be 400 so now it's your decision which one to choose so i'm choosing 300 i hope you all know why i am taking 300 as because minus 34 will be nearest okay to move 400 you have to add more than 34 so that's why i'll be choosing 300 similarly the next number which we have is 4317 so the nearest 100 for 4317 may be 4300 or 4400 so to reach 4317 to 300 you will just subtract minus 13 but to reach 4400 from 4317 you have to move more step than 17 right so i'll be choosing 4300 so on addition this is the nearest 100 position we we are doing okay so when you add this number so let me add 4300 300 and then 400 when you add this you will get 336 plus 4 is 10 1 in hand 4 plus 1 is 5 it is 5000 so when you converted the number in the nearest into the nearest 100 position you got the value 5000 okay so i want you all to copy down as i have to erase it all right so 
now the next question was you with that with this question only now what you need to do is you have to you have to uh, choose the you have to round up the value in the nearest tenth position isn't it so you need to note down this that when you converted this value in the nearest hundred you got the value five thousand okay so similarly when you convert this value into its nearest tenths position what will be the value that you have to note down okay so the nearest tenths of 439 may be 430 or 440 so i'll choose 440 as because by adding one only you'll get 440 but to reach 439 to 430 you have to subtract minus 39 and 39 step backward will be a little bit lengthier so i'm not going to choose that so 440 will be the appropriate one plus 334 so 334 the nearest tens value may be 330 or 340 so just see minus 4 here plus 6 here sorry plus 6 here so uh, okay, so six step will be a little bit uh, expensive one. So I'll be choosing 330 in order to reach the nearest tens of 334. Okay, similarly for 4317, I'm going I'm going to choose 4310 or 4320. So by adding three only you'll be getting the nearest tens. But when you subtract, uh, when you want to proceed to 4310, you have to minus 7 that is you have to uh, subtract uh, 7 uh, that means it is little bit uh, lengthier one right so I'm going to choose 4320 when you add this you'll be getting so let me erase this part I hope this is clear to you all it makes a sense okay so when I'm adding this of the nearest tens value I'll be getting 0 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 3 is 9 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 1 in hand it is 5 5090 so as you can see when you converted the value into its nearest hundred you got 5000 when you converted this value into its nearest tens you got 5,090 5, so the difference is 90 right so the difference is 90 similarly now we are going to solve for question number 2 also that is number B part B I'm going to erase this I want you all to pause it pause the video and kindly copy down in your copy okay so the next part we have is part B part B state that 1008 Sorry, 10, um, 108734 minus 47599. 108734 minus 47599. So the work is very similar that we did in the previous part. <clears throat> so here you have to convert first of all or round off to the nearest 100. So the nearest 100 of 108734 their nearest 100 value will be 108700 or 108800 right so now you have to choose which one you are going to take which one will be the nearest hundred of 108734 so here to reach this you have to subtract with minus 34 you'll get 700 to reach in order to reach 800 what you have to do you have to subtract let me do it six six here then nine minus three is again six 7 minus 7 is 0, 0 so it is 66 so in order to reach this you have to plus with 66 so which one you are going to choose of course this one you are going to choose so the answer will be the nearest hundred value will be 108700 okay minus so I'm going to erase this part again okay 
four seven five nine nine. So the nearest tens, sorry, hundred position of four seven five nine nine may be four seven five hundred or four seven six zero zero. So either you may choose this, you may choose this. So in order to do that, you have to subtract ninety nine here and you have to plus one here, right? So of course, only uh, moving one step forward, you are going to get your, its nearest hundred position. So it is four seven six zero zero. So now here, what you have to do here, you have to subtract it as the uh, subtraction sign is mentioned over there. So let's do the subtraction also. The values are one zero eight seven zero zero minus. Four seven six double zero four seven six double zero subtracted zero zero here seven minus six is one eight minus seven is one and ten minus four is six so the answer is sixty one thousand sixty one thousand one hundred so this is the value when you convert it into the nearest hundred position right so this is the value so let me write down here. 61,100. Now, our next task is to round off into its nearest tens, right? So, let me raise. Nearest tens, you have to do it for now. Okay. <clears throat> the number is 108.7. One zero eight seven three four. To convert into nearest tens, very simple one. One zero eight seven three zero. Okay, and the next one will be one zero eight seven four zero. Because here you are you are looking for the nearest tens. So thirty four can be written in the form of thirty. Or 34 may be written as 40. Now your duty is to choose which one you are going to take. Minus 4 here and plus 6 here. Of course, this one will be the nearest tens position. So the answer will be 108730. Subtraction sign is mentioned. So the next number we have is 47599. The nearest tens value will be 475. Nine zero or or four seven six double zero because after ninety nine six hundred comes so the nearest here you'll be minus you'll be doing minus nine here and to reach nearest tens you'll be adding one so of course four seven six double zero will be the nearest value. Four seven six double zero. Now, what you have to do here, you have to subtract. So, I'm taking this place in order to subtract the value. One zero eight seven zero zero minus four seven six double zero. Subtracted. Zero three seven minus six is one. Eight minus four is again one. Now 10 minus 4 is 6. So the value is 61,130. Isn't it? So let me write it again. 61,130. So you just see the difference to the nearest 100. You got 61,100. And in the nearest tens value, you got 61,130. So similarly, I want you all to do this two questions which is left out here that is the part number C and D yourself okay so I hope uh, the thing which I have explained you is understandable right so kindly do the work if there is any problem kindly feel free to share with me all right so thank you everyone see you in the next class till then stay safe and healthy thank you everyone